What's a 20, Transporter 237? This is Transporter 237. About nine clicks from the rendezvous. Should be five hours before it goes well. Can you confirm the route ahead has been cleared? All info should have been given to you in the last brief. 10-6. Oh my god. I hate Nigel, man. He's such a tool. Ah, guy's just doing his job. Speaking of, I can't wait to finally stretch my legs. Being here so long, I've got used to the stench. Hey, man, not my fault I didn't have time to shower before we set off. It was all rush, rush, rush. I thought we had another week before we even meant to go out on this run. Well, whatever the case, at least we'll be able to finally relax for a while when we get to the checkpoint. I hear it's pretty basic, but it can't be much worse than the last place. Then again, I have been spoiled since my time in Daegu. Here we go. What? It was amazing. Clean, hot water, power on 24-7, and I swear the meals were twice what we got at Bismarck. You just like to show off that for five minutes you're with all the big wigs in that fancy compound. Well, it's going to be a lot better than wherever Mystery Man back there is going. What do you reckon his story is? I don't know. And I don't care. It's way, way above my pay grade to care. I questioned Carol before we left. She just told me to shut up. Confidential. Ah, that means she doesn't have a bloody clue either. Well, let's just keep our heads down, drop him and the supplies off, take a few days to recoup. Can't wait until this tour is over and I don't have to smell your breath all day every day. Oh, thanks. <sighs> At least the sweepers did a good job on the road beforehand. We haven't come across any Zs or Rex for a while now. Well, better them than us. It's a shitty job, but someone's got to do it. Just wish this damn fog would clear. Can't see a bloody thing. Well, the roads have been cleared anyway. Shouldn't be a... What the hell is that? Stop! Damn it, I can't slow down. Break! As Logan came to, he attempted to stand up, but found himself collapsing to the ground. He'd badly injured one of his legs in the crash. He knew he needed to get out of here, and this was his chance. After making sure Barry was safe, he quickly went round the truck, sorting through the supplies provided by the wrecked storage. Logan grabbed what he could and then left the truck as quickly as he could. And as soon as he was out of the truck, he made a beeline straight for the woods, not wanting to hang around for reinforcements or the undead. Logan had no idea where he was or where he was going. He just knew that he needed to get away. And so he kept going, going deeper and deeper into the forest. Step after agonizing step. Where he would end up, he wasn't sure, but it had to be better than the place he had left. Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome to a brand new series featuring Logan Stone. So, it's been quite a long time since uh, we left old Logan. He's been through the ringer. <laughs> uh, last time we saw him, he'd been chucked in the back of the van by his estranged mum and some militia group to be sent off to God knows where without any knowledge of what was going on. We managed to escape after the truck crashed, but we did get injured. We've got a fractured leg, we've got a couple of injuries on us, which we're going to want to change the bandages pretty quickly because we've got a mod that adds potential issues if we get infections in our wounds. That's not good, we've already got an infection. <laughs> Great, we're going to want to keep an eye on them until they're healed up because we want to avoid infections and so we don't get nauseous and sick because we can die from them. Logan managed to get to level 10 skills in most things, however I've nerfed him a bit because he's been on the road a little while and also we don't really want to start with a character with 10 in lots of things, I think that's a bit cheesy, but I have kept him alright, I haven't just got rid of everything and started afresh because after all he's been, he's been going quite a long time now. We start off with a broke leg, we're injured, we've got more traits and dynamic traits added, so that's where most of these have come from, but we start off with slow reader, lucky, inconspicuous, uh, organised and stout as Logan always does, however we also are a fast learner this series, and outdoorsman, because we've been alive quite a long time and since last series I think he would be outdoorsman and definitely a fast learner because he's already, he's already done all this, twice. <laughs> the rest of them, flimsy, out of shape, uh, prone to illness, slow healer, all comes from dynamic traits and our skills. But natural eater I think is a pretty good skill and probably more Logan anyway seeing as after last series we lived off the land for most of the time on our little island. We have Spiff UI installed which is a little UI mod, I've never used it before but it looked very very cool so I'm pretty pleased to be using it and have discovered it. We have Barry, who's actually got a name because of the Rename Everything mod, and the new Frogshire mod, which enables us to feed him and keep him alive, which is lovely. The rest of the stuff we've got in our inventory is stuff that we managed to scavenge from the truck after it crashed. So I managed to pick up a leather jacket, a couple of empty cans, canned tomatoes, box nails, rope saw, and a tarp. Not particularly useful stuff. We don't have any weapons. We have very little tools. I mean, the, the saw is useful, don't get me wrong, but uh, we can't really do much with it. The first thing we're going to have to be trying to focus on is getting a tent. For that, we need some tree branches. We also need a knife of some sort. 
Uh, I'm going to pick that up for Barry. Thank you. It's, it's going to be quite difficult. Once we get the tent, it's a little bit easier. But for now, we are very, very reliant on finding some sort of knife, whether that's on a zombie or whether that is a sharpened stone. We will see. But we desperately need to get off. Oh, actually, that's one of the first things we need to find was some tree branches. That's really good. Two, we needed another four because we need four stakes. And then we also need to get two to actually make the tent itself. Now, we're actually about the same speed strafing as we are walking with our limping leg. We might actually be slightly faster. So we're going to want to be doing this for quite a long time until our leg is healed, which could take forever. <laughs> we are slow healer just while we are underweight, but I'm not sure how quickly it's going to be for us actually gaining any weight anytime soon. We found the survival knife straight away. That is what we are after. Thank you. It also had decent condition. It did. While we're here, I think what will be good is if we remove some bushes. I don't know how much the condition goes down doing this. So if we remove the bushes, there's quite a high chance we can get a branch doing that. So we could just do that to save actually foraging. Has it gone down? Doesn't look like it's gone down. No, it hasn't gone down at all. That's good. So we've got a tree branch. Okay, let's make the stakes. Then we just need one more and then two branches and we are done. I will take the twigs as well for lighting materials. Ooh, hello. Basil. Food. I mean, not very filling food, but food nonetheless. Yeah, the survival knife seems to be doing its job, which is good. We've got four stakes now. We just need two more branches and we are good. And then it's just a case of getting some twine. Okay, so that's one, two. There we go. Boom. And while I'm thinking about it, it would be quite nice to... Oh, there's so many twigs. It would be nice to get a couple of spears just so we've got a weapon on us. There we go. Beautiful. So let's make some spears. Good. Attach one on back and attach that in our hands. Good. We're all set. Excellent. So that's the start of everything, but we need to get some twine. And for that, we need to rip up some clothes and we need some thread. And then we need to combine that to make uh, twine, funny enough. We make thread out of the ripped sheets. Can't do it from the dirty ones. How do we make twine then? Because we should be able to make twine. Oh, we just need 20 units of it. Oh, that's a lot. We also need to get some more ripped sheets anyway to uh, clean up our wounds because chances are that's going to be issue as well. We could rip them up the hard way another zombie where is it there come on impale yourself thank you oh leather jacket oh it's too bad condition to even do anything with fine so we got all zombie corpses which is really really nice because that enables us to just rip everything up there we go right that's enough to make some twine that is one we can now make the tent kit good so that is the first step done good stuff there we go tent kit accomplished we have ourselves a bed for the night right they can all go in there how's our wounds looking they're still dirty let's change them up then yeah, because you're infected. Don't really want you getting infected. You're infected as well. Oh, no. And we are playing on the forest map. So the map itself is just a giant forest. There is a river here and I believe some ruins or something, although I haven't actually encountered them myself. But there isn't really anything else. We're not going to find like major settlements or anything like that. It's pretty much just forest. But the aim of this series is to go from A to B. We need to get from where we currently are to the top corner of the map. Once we're there, we can then escape the forest and we can work our way to the next location. But for now, we need to escape our pursuers, the people who captured us, and kind of work on ourselves a bit. Have time to think about what is going on, work out a plan of action and where to go from here. So the next step really is to find a water source. Once we find a water source, we can cook it up and we can have water because at the moment we've only got the single bottle of water and that is it. That will not last us long at all. So we desperately need to uh, sort that out. Ooh, and a watch. There we go. Lovely. Oh, it's six o'clock already. Yikes. That is not good. Right. We've also got some lemongrass. Nice. That's just in case we do end up getting ill. And we're going to want to be on the lookout for mushrooms slash berries. Because as you might have seen when we went through the traits, we are not a herbalist. That is because we're in a new land. We don't really know where we are. Uh, we don't know the landscape or the flora here. So it doesn't really make any sense that we would be a herbalist in the sense that we were back in Cherbourg and at Knox Country because we don't know what the plants are here. So the good thing about dynamic traits is as a way to become a herbalist through studying different plants. Ooh, silver necklace with crucifix. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm going to take the digital watch for a distraction as well in case we need it. So we need to find some berries slash mushrooms and study them. And once we've studied enough of them, 
then we become a herbalist. We become knowledgeable in the local plants and we can tell what is poisonous and what is not. So I think that's a really good way of doing it, but it does mean we have to find around, I think it's about 50 berries slash mushrooms, uh, which are going to take quite a long time. We found cherries. Okay, that doesn't count because we know what they are. <laughs> so um, we don't we don't need to work out whether they're poisonous or not because we know cherries are edible. The biggest concern that we've got is that we can't see past the tree line. So zombies might be on the other side of any tree in this local area and we would have no knowledge until we're right bang smack next to them. Like there. I had no idea he was there. Uh, what have you got? Not much. We could rip it up though. Good stuff. Another thing that some of you may know is that my wife has just had a baby so if i seem a little bit weird uh than usual i it's because i'm sleep deprived <laughs> and i don't really know what's going on so yeah just as a heads up in case you wonder why the hell i'm doing certain things it's probably because i'm so tired i don't really know what i'm doing which is a great time to really handicap myself in a really hard setting in project zomboid right a doll <gasps> yay and money can have a little money bath okay uh gold gold ring left middle finger there we go gangster logan is back one of the things is with this fractured leg we can't really escape so if we get overwhelmed by more than three zombies three is like the absolute limit really it's two at a time is best because uh, i can take the one easily at a time three pushing it four no four is like no 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 with the spear it's a bit easier but even then it's hard honestly i wasn't expecting to find a spear this early on so um pretty lucky in that sense Wait, hang on, why are we sick? What? No, 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 no. It's our infections. Oh, balls. Um, just keep it clean. It was only a tiny scratch. Oh, that's not good. I'm really hoping that goes away. Because if we develop a fever, we're, we're dead already. And that's the first spear broken. Antidepressants. That is quite good, actually. Let's have a quick look at the map. We kind of need to just keep heading in this general direction, head towards the corner. I think that's the best course of action we can do. We can study them, that's good. We are getting tired, it's getting late, but I kind of want to get away from those zombies and clear a few more out. If we can clear like these ones out, for example, we can be a bit more safe and then we can just backtrack a little bit and uh, settle in for the night. Good stuff. Okay, yeah, we are sick. Okay, there's dirty again. Let's keep changing them, hope for the best. I'm presuming the sickness has come from the upper torso. I don't think it would have come from an infection in the hand. It might have done, though. It might just be the combined wound, I guess. That's part of the tent. I think we're just going to have to go to sleep. I'm hoping that, and although we've got reduced healing and we are a slow healer because of being underweight, we should be able to fight off the illness. Let's just eat the food we've got. Try and get ourselves, well, not hungry anymore. Study them quickly and uh, let's go to sleep and hopefully we survive the night. <laughs> okay. Or a zombie appears out of nowhere and destroys our tent. Useful. That's a bit of a bug. <laughs> we got tent pegs back instead of stakes. I'm going to take them anyway, not complaining too much. We can make a fishing rod out of that. Okay. So now we need to find more tree branches. We're nauseous, we're not sick. That fills me with hope. And the fact that that's only bandaged, not dirty. Ooh, makes me think they might have healed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back on track. Nearly died to a zombie in the night, but we're fine. What have we got here? So that could be a... Silent zombie? Cheeky. Cheeky. Stop it. Thank you. Uh, that could be a steak. Do you have anything useful on you? A newspaper might keep us a bit happy. I suppose that's something. Another steak? There we go. Right, two more stakes. Stop it. Bad. Don't sneak up on me, naughty zombie. Okay. Oh, and the... Okay, great. <laughs> Our spear broke. Wonderful. Hand fork. What's the condition? I don't think we need it, honestly. Let's turn that into a spear. Let's turn that one into a spear. We can have that one on our back. And now we just need two more and we're good. You've got clothes. Give me your clothes. Commandeering your clothes. I need to make twine. <laughs> you could actually make twine from the rope. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. And then we can make the tent kit. Okay, right. Back on track. It only took a few hours. Uh, we might as well make a campfire kit as well. Out of the twigs. Lovely. Back on track. Back on the open road. Looking for a water source or a way out of this forest. And also food. 
unusable metal. Uh, thanks. Tweezers. Oh, that's a big find. Thank you. I honestly didn't think we'd ever find tweezers before in here. Uh, now we can pluck our eyebrows. Great. We're still queasy. We're not nauseous anymore, so it has gone down. It's very slow to go down. It does concern me. Because we can die from wound infections, like I said. I think we got lucky there. <gasps> Chipstone. Thank you. Cool. Well, at least we've got that as a backup if we need another knife. So I think we can be a little bit more easygoing with our knife situation now. Okay. And one behind us. Oh, God. Two behind us. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, oh, there's two zombies down there as well. I'm hoping it's only one here. We'll turn around and take the other two out. There's one up there as well. And a chef knife. Credit card. We do not need a credit card. Do not think we're going to find ATM in the woods. Thank you. What do you have on you? Newspaper. Where were you storing that? Just down your pants. I've just got newspaper down my pants. It's <laughs> Alcohol wipes are a massive find. And vitamins are also huge. Duct tape as well, and another chef knife. All the knives, apparently. Why were there so many chefs out here is why I'm confused. Oh, God. That one broke. Get the other one out. Come on. Uh, I thought I'd put it on my back. Oh, that was closer than I thought it was going to be. We could rip the hard way. Sure, because we don't have another way of doing it. It's very wrong for some reason. Oh, we still got 11. That's still pretty good. Rest the sleeper, because we're very hungry. Do we have any food then? Obviously, apart from Barry. We've got the tomatoes. I guess we could have. Zombie behind us. There was a zombie behind us. There's two behind us. That was too close. Glue and a water bottle. Is it full? <gasps> it's full. All right, get back to foraging. We do have the 10 years later mod. We could attempt to find some stuff going through the undergrowth here. I don't know if that's still a thing or not. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's move some more bushes to see if we can get some more uh, branches. There's one just on the floor. Okay. Oh god, there's so many. Come on, quickly. One down. Stay down. Good. Another cheap survival knife. So many knives. Back to finding stuff for spears again and being desperate for food. And I think we're just going to have to open up this canned tomato the hard way. Was hoping not to because we're going to lose calories from it, but uh, we are really hungry. We're no longer rest or sleeper, so that's nice. Really hope we come across some decent food on a zombie or something at some point. Because, uh, yeah, we need like some chips or something. I mean, a beer wouldn't go amiss. That'd be nice. Oh, what's this? Please be food. We can't eat that. Onwards we go. On the endless search for food at this point. Seems pretty... Oh god, I was going to say it seems pretty chill and then there was a jump scare. Where are you? There's food. Don't get in my way. It's food. Reap leaves. Okay. How many did we get? Four. Uh, it's not amazing, but it, I suppose it should help stave off the uh, moodle. Or well, at least we can do the studying thing that I talked about. Uh, we need to do so many. I think it's about 50. Two mushrooms. Okay, so... <laughs> We'd need to, like, 25 times more, and then we're done. Do you have nothing? You're useless to me. If you don't have food, you're useless. We could feed Barry the centipede. I will probably do that in a minute, maybe when we settled a bit, because he might be getting a bit hungry now. You okay? Have a look at you. Oh, you're fine. You ate a day ago. You're, you're full still. Pick up. Thank you. Another three. That means we're potentially a tenth of the way there after we've studied them. Right, we're quite an open area, so I think I'm going to leave foraging off for now so we can fight all these zombies. Earbuds. I don't know if we're going to find earbuds again, so I'm going to keep them, but they are on my to-chuck list if uh, we find anything better. 
What's that? I don't know. Ta rosemary is that? Yeah, rosemary. Okay, that's a bit of food. I guess. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat raw rosemary, but it doesn't give unhappiness. It's weird. I would have thought that that would uh, get us pretty unhappy. What have you got in your back? Hand fork. I mean, we could use that to dig up worms with Barry. Sure. And that's a spear broken. Great. Oh, God, there's so many. Uh, get back. Just get back. Die first time. Good. Die first time. Die first time. Die first time. Damn it. Let's take these couple out. Just see if they've got any food on them. And then we're going to keep pressing forward. I need to find somewhere, preferably like this, but without all the death. Because this is going to attract zombies. All the flies from all this death. Um, are they actually coming after me? I might just leave them. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them. They don't seem to care. Oh, hello. What's this? Chives. All the herbs. We're not a herbalist yet, but... <laughs> Let's go on the floor. Move bush. Fall over, please. Don't really want to waste the spear. There's a branch right there. That's all I want. I'll take that for distraction again. That was a quick turnaround, Logan. That was impressive. With beta blockers as well. Good find. Make another spear, please. Thank you very much. Good. Now we've got two again. We always need to have two because at the moment with our spear being so low, the chances of them breaking is pretty high. We are just about to level up in it though. So there's that. That should mean between that and our all right carpentry skill, spears should last significantly longer after we leveled up a little bit. Oh, I say that and then it breaks. Find another one, I guess. Don't waste the knife. Oh dear. Oh. That was too close. No, our knife broke. Oh, that's a shame. Luckily, we have all the knives in the world. Uh, let's eat some of these chives. Just found all these herbs today. <laughs> that's all we found. Oh, I missed. Whoops. And a stabby. What do you have on you? You have a screwdriver. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, screwdriver is very, very good. Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, loads. We've got onion and we've got some berries. Oh, we're starting to get a bit sleepy, and it is starting to get a bit late. I am wondering whether I should just go back. We knew that place was fairly empty. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to, the, well, here, where it's a bit more open. Oh, there's zombies right there. How did I miss them? Hello. We'll take these ones out, then, and then uh, set up our tent. Have a nice little nappy nap. Comb? No, I don't really want a comb. I don't want any of that, either. Still a bit panicked. Calm down. Logan, you're fine. You've dealt with this, like, a thousand times. Just chill out. <laughs> I suppose he's been in captivity for a few months and hasn't been able to see any zombies, so maybe it's still a bit of a shock to him. Looks fairly safe. Probably safe it's going to be for a while. So let's set up the tent. There we go. Cool. Uh, eat some chives. Tasty, tasty chives. Can't believe we found that other bottle of water, though. That's, like, such a good find. Because that'll keep us going. Because I don't know how far away the water supply is. Because I know there is a river, but I don't know where it is. And Barry, you haven't eaten, have you? I'm sorry, Barry. Let's get the centipede out that we've been saving for you. Feed the centipede. I guess we fed the centipede to Barry. Good. You're okay, then. You're satiated. Good. You're alive. That's always good. And you are male. I pretty much knew that, but still. Always good to be <laughs> to be retold. Just quickly do one more little quick scout of the little surrounding area. I think we're safe. Safe as we're probably going to be in the middle of the woods during the apocalypse. Uh, let's go sleep. And hopefully a zombie doesn't attack us in the night again and we nearly die. Because <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh. No, instead we wake up and it's nearly pitch black. Wonderful. What's our foraging skill looking like? It's going up. We're about halfway. We are halfway. That's amazing. Good. Right, take down the tent. And then I think we should keep pushing on. Oh, and right on cue. Zombie appears out of nowhere. Hello, you. Oh, and a tissue. Actually, that quite could be quite useful, especially if we get a cold or something. Right, into the deep, dark woods we go. At least we've got a spear directly pointing forward while we walk now. <laughs> Just feel a little bit safer. Ooh, question mark. What's it going to be? You spotted a small bird. Small bird tracks. What? I don't know. What is this? I need a gun. Oh. 
Oh, that's so I do have a hunting mod. Yeah, hunting mod, specifically the 10 years later immersive hunting hunting mod. So that enables us to hunt. So that's how it works. I didn't actually know, so that's pretty cool. So we find tracks and then we can do it that way. That's quite nice. Discovered something. Where is it? There. What is it? For Barry? Thank you. Nails. Hey. Good. We want to make like a little shack or something in the woods. We're one one wall there. Another chef knife? Okay, both of them down. A newspaper, nice. And we've got another screwdriver. Not gonna complain about that. Okay, let's keep foraging. Not that it's gonna be very good. Weather effect 57. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna see anything at this point. Oh, I say that, and then what did we find? Thistles. That's that's food. And a rope. Ooh, nice. Oh god. Spear has gone up. Good. Really, I'd like to end the episode once we find water source. Uh, if we find a water source, I am very happy this episode. Oh, look, just to complete our herb collection, parsley. Lovely. So we've got quite a lot of, I would say, food, but it's not really food, is it? Although, now we've got a leak. Okay, now, now it's more like food. Excuse me. Trying to do a commentary here. Thank you. Another water bottle. That can't get much better. I mean, we've got so much water now, we don't really need a water source. Yeah, three water bottles. We're good for a long time. And chips. Oh my god. There's one behind us. I'm pretty sure I just saw one. Yep. Um, there we go. Right, gotcha. Back to the foraging we go. Hoping to find river soon. Do, 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 do. You have a axe in your back. It's a splitting axe. That's possibly the best thing we could have found. 26 dirty rags. I think we could get rid of them. There we go. And does that mean we can have the splitting axe? It does. It's like nearly perfect condition as well. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's like... That's like top tier. Um... Because I think splitting axe is one of the best for cutting down trees, if I'm right. Um, okay, we don't actually have enough space to put anything out. Let's chuck the things we don't actually need. Oh, God. Uh, mint candy. 1.7 is how much they weigh. Oh, God, we're going to... Yeah, we can't afford to have any more than that. Well, back to the grind we go, I guess. There's more, there's more. Crap. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that was scary. Uh, first aid kit though, and a holster, and an M9 pistol in good condition, and a nightstick. That's a lot of stuff. Go away, please. Nails. More thread. The interesting thing was the uh, first aid kit. Didn't expect to find that. We need a carabiner clipped. We could have attached it onto our backpack. That's a massive shame. Um, okay, well, we need to build another spear. Uh, attach that on our back. And then this is getting heavy and a bit ludicrous, really. Okay, no. Uh, M9 pistol. I don't think we need the M9 pistol. I'm sorry, but I don't think we need it. In that sense, we don't really need the holster, do we? They're much rarer. I think I'll keep it just in case. <gasps> oh, thank you, <laughs> naked man with heart-shaped chocolates. I'm not sure if I want to eat those heart-shaped chocolates. Where were you storing them? We're only okay by a thread right now because of everything. So I think, uh, yeah, only pick up what's essential from now on. We might need to rearrange some of the stuff we've got. Yeah, because lots of this is not needed. The doll is needed. I'm not getting rid of the doll. <laughs> uh, another shit. Ooh. It's a pony. Pea dummy pony. Well, that's obviously essential. 
So Pomps Mod is one of the ones that I've added if you hadn't guessed from that. Uh, which adds a loads of different like food items and uh, plush ponies. Although those plush ponies are quite rare, so I'm surprised I managed to find one. There we go. Nice. Uh, cigarettes. We do not need cigarettes, thank you. Uh, get rid of that then. We need another crafted spear. Right. Uh, oh god. No, 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 no. Oh god, no! Go away! <laughs> oh, I thought I was rid of you all. Right, I'm a bit worried now with all this death that's going to track zombies because I can see, you can see the flies. Uh, oh, we got another one? Is that the same one? That's weird. Okay, we've got two of the same. That's bizarre. Okay, a pen. Pen is actually useful. Um, we don't need those tent pegs. That's quite heavy. I'm going to leave them. Okay, uh, we need to get rid of one more thing. Eat that. Perfect. We're exactly the right amount. <laughs> if we get a little bit more hungry, we're going to be uh, encumbered. That's fine. Oh, okay, mushrooms. At least we can study them. Uh, study, study, study. Oh, what's that? Stone. Um, sure. Hello, hello, hello. Can tuna. Oh, I can't pass that up. And a fanny pack on front. Thank you. Stab yourself in the belly. 30. Well, no, why would I want to do that? <laughs> Cheap survival knife. We'll swap that out for a natural survival knife. Oh, it's a bit heavier. Okay, but I'm presuming it lasts a bit longer. Eat the leek. Keep foraging. Okay, we're look, we've got... Oh, I was going to say we had no moodles for a second. I think that's pretty impressive. <gasps> What's that? What is that? Ha uh ha -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We found a river, we found a river. Oh my god, that's amazing. How do we get across the river? I don't know if there's any bridges or anything. Okay, what well, I'm going to do quickly, just because I'm a little bit paranoid, because I don't want to, like, keep going north if there's going to be one just to the south. We're going to quickly check down here, see if there is a bridge of some sort down this way. Uh, doesn't look like it. I think we'll keep going for a little bit. And if I can't find anything, then we'll just turn around and go back north. Actually, you know what, guys? I think we might just settle. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the fact that uh, we've found the river itself. I think next episode we'll explore the river. We'll go a bit further south, see if we can find anything. And if we can't find a bridge or anything, then I think we will um, push up north and see if we can find one. So, without further ado... Thank you so much for watching. If you like Wissim, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, David, Clint, David, McHale, Len, Lord Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Thank you so much, guys. I just can't thank you guys enough. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. And I will see you next episode where we are going to explore the river a bit. So, cheers. See you next episode. Bye-bye.